Now, this is how you can customize widgets on your MacBook Air or any kind of MacBook uh, altogether. So essentially, you need to be on your home screen or on the desktop. And I want you to click on the time and a date in the top right corner. And when the widgets panel just slides out like this, you can see you've got a bunch of notifications and widgets. And entirely at the bottom, you have the edit widgets button. So when you click on this, a widgets pop-up is going to slide out. And the way that it works is that it is sort of connected with your iPhone, right? So if you have a couple of different apps installed on your iPhone, these widgets can also appear on your Mac computer. So it is really useful because, you know, widgets on a Mac are not really a thing by default so we're just taking them from the iphone but essentially you can add any one that you like uh, of course you can add uh, whichever you prefer and then you can also reorganize them just like you can on the on the iphone if you want to delete any of the existing widgets you can tap on the minus icon and you'll be able to just uh, of course uh, deleted, right? Uh, a lot of people just, for example, wonder about how you can edit specific existing ones, right? For instance, I have the Notion widget and on the iPhone, it tells me to hold down on it and set it up, right? But on the Mac, you cannot really hold down on it. But instead, in order to customize, you need to right click on it and tap on edit that widget. So I'm going to click on edit Notion. It's going to flip over and then I can choose which workplace and which page I want to just have in my widget. So that's essentially how it works. Hopefully you managed to get it to work. Hit the thumbs up if you did. Let me know below in the comments what's really going on with your device. And thanks a lot for watching. See you guys later.